Hi guys. So next topic we are going to discuss is about the sterilization and disinfection. So guys, this topic is very important for your exam point of view and you can expect a number of questions uh, particularly from this topic. So starting with the sterilization. So the sterilization it is a process by which an article surface or a medium is free of all the living orga microorganisms whether it is in the vegetative form or in the spore form it means that there is a complete absence of the microorganism coming on to the disinfection the destruction or the removal of all the pathogenic organism which are capable of giving rise to the infection this is disinfection which means that there is a reduction in the microorganism to such a level which is deemed no longer harmful to the health fine so this is the main difference between the sterilization and the disinfection now after this let's discuss the methods of the sterilization as well as the method of the disinfection starting with the methods of the sterilization in this first we have heat ionizing radiation in which we have beta electron uh, irradiation and we have gamma photon irradiation fine we have this filtration method we have the sterile gases which includes the ethylene oxide the formaldehyde we have the sterile liquids which includes the include the glutaraldehyde fine so these are the method of the sterilization now discussing the methods of the disinfection so in this first we have the heat the ultraviolet radiation gases filtration chemicals such as alcohols chlorhexidine glutaraldehyde hypochlorites iodine and phenolic compounds so now we are going to discuss them one by one starting with the methods of sterilization see we have two methods the physical methods and the chemical methods fine so here we are going to discuss the physical methods as well as the chemical methods in brief starting with the first method that is the sunlight so sunlight it is an uh, active germicidal effect which is due to the content of the ultraviolet rays fine so we are going to take one by one into detail so second is the heat so in this we have two types of heat the dry heat as well as the moist heat the dry heat it contains or it consists of four methods the red heat flaming incineration and the hot air oven and the moist heat in this we have three methods at a temperature below 100 degree celsius it includes three processes the pasteurization of the milk the inspissation and the vaccine bath second method is at the temperature of 100 degree celsius as you all know at the temperature of 100 degree celsius the process is known as the boiling process second is the tenderization and third is the steam sterilizer third is at the temperature above 100 degree celsius you can use autoclave so these are the methods of heat third method is the filtration fourth one is the radiation where we have two types of radiations the non ionizing radiation which again consists of infrared radi uh, rays and the ultraviolet rays and we have the ionizing radiation which consists of the gamma rays so this is all about the physical method now coming on to the chemical methods so the chemicals which we are using for the sterilization or the disinfections are the alcohol aldehydes phenols halogens salts surface active antigens dyes and the gases so guys this is a brief about the physical and the chemical method now we are going to take one by one in detail so before going into detail there are two terminologies number one is the antiseptics 
what do you mean by antiseptic these are the chemical agent that slow the growth of the microorganism on the external surfaces of the body and it helps to prevent the infection these are antiseptics so they can be safely applied to the skin or the mucous membrane and are used to prevent the infection by inhibiting the growth of the bacteria the antiseptics should be distinguished from the antibiotic important point as they destroy the microorganism inside the body and from the disinfectant which destroy the microorganism found on the non living objects fine however the antiseptics are often referred to as skin disinfectant commonly asked mcq the antiseptics are often referred to as the skin disinfectant now after the antiseptics let's discuss about the antisepsis so it is defined as a prevention of an infection usually by inhibiting the growth of the bacteria in the wounds or the tissues so starting with the physical method first is the sunlight so sunlight it has an active germicidal effect due to the ultraviolet rays fine so it is a natural method of sterilization in cases of water in the tanks in the rivers and in the lakes fine it is a natural method of natural method of sterilization fine coming on to the heat as these two points are very important these are the principle of heat first is the principle of the dry heat so it kills the organism by denaturation of the bacterial protein while the principle of the moist heat it kills the organism by the denaturation and the coagulation of the protein important points this is the main difference between the principle of a dry heat and a moist heat now after this let's discuss the dry heat sterilization first one is the red heat so this is the red heat in which the inoculating wires or the loops tips of the forceps and needles these are held in the flame see this is the red flame so these all things these are held in the flame of a bunsen burner till they become red hot can you see this these are becoming red hot so this is the first method of dry heat sterilization that is the red heat now coming on to the second method which is the flaming so in this the glass lights the scalpels mouth of the culture tube these are passed through the bunsen flame without allowing them to become red hot fine so this is the main difference between the red heat and the flaming that in the red heat you are held the needles the inoculating tips these are held in the flame of a bunsen burner till they become red hot while in the flaming you can just pass the glass lights the mouth of the culture tubes you are just pass these through the bunsen flame without allowing them to become red hot fine this is the main difference coming on to the third method of the dry heat sterilization which is the incineration so it is the effective material in this the effective material it is reduced to ashes by burning in this you can put the material or the infective material and it will burn and it reduces to or it reduces to ashes fine examples like soil dressing and beddings all the infective material is reduced to ashes by burning process now last method 
is the hot air oven so it is the most widely used method of the dry heat sterilization the temperature important temperature is 160 degrees celsius for one hour this is the holding time and in this you can sterilize the glassware products like the glass syringe pipettes and the test tubes you can also sterilize the surgical instruments like scalpels scissors or the forceps you can also sterilize the chemical products like the liquid paraffin wax and sulfonamide powder important you just need to remember the temperature which is 160 degrees celsius for one hour it is the holding time fine so this is all about the dry heat as i have already told you the dry heat number one is the flaming first one was the red heat red heat flaming incineration hot air oven in this you can inoculating loop or wires tip of the forceps and the spatulas you can sterilize in this in dry heat you can sterilize the contaminated clothes the animal carcasses and pathological uh, pathological materials your swabs liquid paraffin dusting powder and fats and grease and through hot air oven you can sterilize the glassware products forceps scissors scalpers or syringe all glass syringes as i've already told you Fine. So this is all about the dry heat. Now coming on to the second method of sterilization of or the physical method of sterilization which is the moist heat sterilization. As I have already told you that there are three processes at the temperature below 100, at the temperature of 100 and above 100 degrees Celsius. So in this first we are going to discuss about the at the temperature below 100 degrees celsius so in this first method is the pasteurization of the milk so it is a method of sterilization of the milk it is defined as an heating of every particle of the milk or the milk product to a specific temperature for a specific period of time without allowing the recontamination of that milk or the milk product so there are two most common method which are used and it is commonly asked question important mcq point of view so there are two method number one is the holder method second is the flash method the holder method the time and the temperature is 63 degrees celsius for 30 minutes and the flash method 72 degrees celsius for 15 to 20 seconds guys please note it down it is important now pasteurization kills nearly 90% of the bacteria in the milk including the more heat resistant tubercle bacillus and the Q fever organism. But it will not kill the thermoduric bacteria nor the bacterial spores important. Fine. So this was the first method of the moist heat sterilization at the temperature below 100 degrees celsius so the second method is the inspissation so in this the serum or the egg media which is the lj which means the lovenstein jensen's and the loffler serum are sterile by heating at 80 to 85 degrees celsius for half an hour on the three consecutive days important the time and temperature see the time and temperature in the sterilization and dis disinfection is very important fine now third one and the last one is the vaccine bath in which the bacterial vaccines these are sterilized at 60 degrees celsius for one hour important vaccine bath is just for the sterilization of the bacterial vaccines at the temperature of 60 degrees celsius for one hour now the next method is at the temperature of 100 degrees celsius first method is the boiling as you know it usually occur at 100 degrees celsius so boiling for 10 to 30 minutes may kill the vegetative form but many spores withstands important third is sorry second 
in this is tantalization so in this the steam at 100 degrees celsius for 20 minutes on three consecutive days used for the sterilization this is the sterilization sterilization of the egg serum sugar containing media important and last is the steam sterilizer at 100 degrees celsius for 90 minutes it is also known as cots or the arnold's steam sterilizer fine these all points are very important for your mcq point of view now last is at the temperature above 100 degrees celsius in this you can use the autoclave so the autoclaving is a method to sterilize the equipment by subjecting them to high pressure which is 121 degrees celsius very important so this is a sterilization by the steam under pressure guys please note it down it is steam under pressure sup steam under pressure the device which is used for autoclaving is known as autoclave autoclaving is used for the culture media the dressing and the aprons the surgical instrument except the sharp instruments gloves and the catheters autoclaving steam under pressure can kill the bacterial spore important nothing short of autoclaving at high pressure can destroy the spores and ensure the sterilization this table is very important this is the distinguish distinguishing feature between the autoclave and a temperature and the time of an hot air oven and autoclave so autoclave it occurs at three temperature it works on three temperatures number one is which is very common 121 degrees celsius and with the holding time of 15 minutes 126 degrees celsius with the holding time of 10 minutes 134 degrees celsius with the holding time of 3 minutes as you as much as you can increase the temperature the time decreases and in the hot air oven 160 degrees celsius leads to 45 minutes 170 degrees celsius leads to 18 minutes 180 degrees celsius leads to 7.5 minutes and 190 degrees celsius leads to 1.5 minutes important actually very important fine now this is all about the moist heat as i've already told you the temperature below 100 degrees celsius pasteurization of milk two methods holder method flash method and inspissator uh, in which the heating of LG Lovenstein Jensen medium and the loafer serum for three consecutive, uh, consecutive days or the successive days. Moist heat. Second is the temperature at 100 degrees Celsius, as you know, boiling culture media. Steam at atmospheric sterilization of the dressing apron stintilization. Steam under pressure, which is the autoclaving. Most of the culture media, gloves, surgical instrument, except the sharp instrument suture material except the cat gut so this is all about the dry heat and the moist heat now third method of sterilize, uh, sterilization or in the physical method is the radiations so in this we have two types of radiation the ionizing radiation and the non-ionizing radiation see in the non-ionizing radiation, we have the infrared radiation and the ultraviolet radiation. Infrared radiation, it is the pre-packed item such as the syringes and catheter. It sterilizes the pre-packed item. While the ultraviolet radiation, it enters the way, operation theaters and laboratories. Fine. Second is the ionizing radiation or the gamma radiation. It is a heat labile instrument. It's used to sterilize the heat level instrument like the plastic syringes swabs greases surgical cat cut bone and the tissue craft important point is the sterilization by the ionizing radiation is called as cold sterilization important what is cold sterilization the sterilization by the ionizing radiation is known as cold sterilization 
so last method in the physical methods are the filtration so in this it is used to sterilize the sera the sugar and the antibiotic solutions types of filters are number one the earthenware candles and in this we have two types of candle filters the diatomaceous earth filters example is the Burkfield and the unglazed porcelain filters example the example is chamber land example is chamber land important second type of filter is the asbestos disc filters also known as seeds filter important it is made up of the magnesium silicate third are the sintered glass filters fourth one are the membrane filters these are made up of cellulose esters nitrocellulose or the millipore important which is widely used which is widely used and it is the with the size of 0 0.015 to 12 micrometer important fine and this this is commonly asked question this is commonly asked question and this is commonly asked question so this was all about the physical method now coming on to the chemical methods so in this first is the alcohol so in this we can use the ethyl alcohol isopropyl alcohol these are act by the denaturation of bacterial protein these are used as a concentration of 60 to 70 percent in the water the methyl important point the methyl alcohol it is effective against the fungal spores important for your mcq second are the aldehydes in which we have the formaldehyde and the glutaraldehyde so in the formaldehyde it is bactericidal sporicidal and the virucidal 10 percent of aqueous solution of formalin is used to sterilize fine Coming on to the second aldehyde that is the glutaraldehyde it is an effective against the mycobacterium tuberculosis the fungi and the viruses it is used as 2% of the buffer solution as the sidex important commonly asked so sterilization of the it is mainly used for the sterilization of cytoscopes the endoscopes and the bronchoscopes next are the phenols in this we have the cresol we have the chlorhexidine we have the chlorozylenol fine starting with the cresol so lysol it is a solution of the cresol in the soaps it is used to sterilize the infected glassware cleaning floors while the chlorhexidine it is a savlone chlorhexidine plus citrimide it is used as disinfection of skin important bactericidal at high dilution next is the chlorozylenol it is an active ingredient of detol next are the halogens so in this the chlorine and the iodine which are used as an disinfectant next are the salts the salts of the copper silver and mercury these are used as in disinfectants coming on to the surface active agents so in this we have four types of surface active agents the anionic cationic non-ionic and amphoteric compounds so in anionic it is commonly used as a soap and detergents cationic quaternary ammonium compounds which are effective in rabies virus important in amphoteric compounds it is also known as tego compounds tego compounds coming on to the dyes so in this we have two types of dyes the aniline dye and the acritine dye 
so the aniline dye it includes the crystal violet the brilliant green and the malachite green fine the crystal violet the brilliant green and the malachite green these are more of effective or these are more active against the gram positive bacteria fine while the acridine dyes these includes in the acriflavin and the proflavin and these are also act, uh, more active against the gram positive bacteria than that of gram negative bacteria last are the gases so in this we have three types of gases the formaldehyde the ethylene oxide and the bpl first is the formaldehyde gas so the formaldehyde gas it is generated by adding the kmno4 to formalin important the sterilization is done by condensation of the gas on the exposed surface this is the method of sterilization you have to condense the gas on the exposed surface the surface which has to be sterilized next is the ethylene oxide it very these all points are very important ethylene oxide highly penetrating gas it is highly inflammable causes mutagenicity and causes the carcinogenicity important points last is the bpl which is which means the beta propiolactone it is used as 0.2% and it is used for inactivation of vaccines So this is all about the sterilization and the disinfection. Now after this let's discuss some important points or the points to remember which are very very important for your exam point of view because these are itself act as an MCQs. So coming on to the procedure of sterilization of the some important material. So in this first is the inoculating as you all know inoculating loop wire and tip of the forceps and the searing spatulas method of sterilization is flaming contaminated cloth pathological material incineration glassware syringes petri dishes test tubes flask surgical instrument hot air oven most of the culture medias these are sterilized by autoclaving or by membrane filter the sharp instruments these are sterilized by 5% of cresol or the hot air oven the clinical thermometers these are sterilized by sevlon the cytoscopes bronchoscopes and other endoscope corrugated rubber aesthetic, uh, anesthetic tubes face mask plastic endotracheal tubes these are sterilized with the help of glutaraldehyde very important mcq fine milk gets sterilized with the method of pasteurization the suture material except the catgut autoclaving catgut by ionizing radiation bacterial vaccine by vaccine bath we have already discussed all these points the dressing aprons gloves catheters surgical instrument except the sharp instrument by autoclaving heat sensitive catheters wards fumigation laboratories sick room operation theaters by formaldehyde gas and ultraviolet rays the prepacked items such as syringes and catheters by infrared radiation the culture media containing the gelatin and sugar by tantalization next important points are all the suture material except the catgut autoclave rubber gloves surgical instrument and most of the culture media by autoclave catgut by ionizing radiation forceps scalpel scissors and needles by hot air oven disposable syringes by ethylene oxide important suture materials by glutaraldehyde hospital waste by incinerator which is burning and leaves into ashes vaccines serum antibiotic solution by filtration operation theaters by fumigation with formaldehyde gas preparation of the skin for the surgery by iodine spirit savlor and chlorhexidine absorbent point 
ब्रॉचेस एंड फाइल्स इम्पॉर्टेंट बाय हॉट सॉल्ट स्टेरलाइजर और द ग्लास बीट स्टेरलाइजर का इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉटन प्लायर्स सीमेंट स्पैचुलास बाय पासिंग द वर्किंग ब्लेड क्विकली थ्रू द फ्लेम सेवरल टाइम्स द डेपन डिश एंड द ग्लास लैब्स स्वेबिंग द सर्फेस ऑफ द टेंचर ऑफ थर्मोसील फॉलोड बाय डबल स्वेबिंग विथ एल्कोहल जी पी कॉन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉमनली आज एम सी क्यू जी पी कॉन बाय इमर्सिंग फाइव पॉइंट टू परसेंट ऑफ सोडियम हाइपोक्लोराइट फॉर वन मिनट फॉलोड बाय रिंसिंग विद द एच टू ओ टू सोडियम पर ऑक्साइड एंड ड्राइंग द सिल्वर कॉन्स स्लोली पासिंग दैम बैक and fourth through the bunsen burner for 3 to 4 times by immersion in the hot salt sterilizer for 5 second low flow serum slope or the lowenstein jensen medium through inspissator sugar media through tendalization or intermittent sterilization gmt enamel hatches corrosive sensitive burrs orthodontic pliers by camiclave Cheetal forceps by one percent of sablon, knife and scissors soaking in lysol, ZOE polyether impression material with the help of one percent of glutaldehyde, alginate polysulfide condensation and addition silicon impression material, one percent sodium hypochlorite, acrylic denture can sterilize in iodoform, suction tubes, endoscopes, bronchoscope. these are sterilized in sedex which is 2% of glutaraldehyde culture media by fraction sterilization pre packed material by x rays plastic surgical needle and sutures by gamma rays pumice by sodium hypochlorite very important table this covers all your sterilization method of sterilization disinfection last is which is commonly asked the biological indicators guys the biological indicators these are the standardized preparations of the microorganism which is used to assess the effectiveness of a sterilization process they usually consist of a population of bacterial spores which are placed on an inert carrier for example a strip of a filter paper a glass light or a plastic tube most commonly spores of bacillus stereothermophilus or the geobacillus stereothermophilus are used very important most commonly spores of bacillus thermophilus geobacillus stereothermophilus these are used spores of bacillus subtilis Bacillus pumilis are also used. This line is very important. So, for various method of sterilization, following biological indicators are used. The moist heat autoclave spore used are Bacillus stereothermophilus. Dry heat hot air oven Bacillus subtilis. Ionizing radiation Bacillus pumilis. Gas sterilization. with the help of ethylene oxide bacillus subtilis plasma sterilization bacillus stereothermophilus plasma sterilization is important bacillus stereothermophilus fine so guys this is very important topic and this is all about the sterilization and disinfection please go through it once thank you